Hello, AP Seminar students. Little quick tutorial here on how to do the performance tasks. So I'm going to do a model performance task for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my screen split. I've got uh, Google over here that I'm going to start with. And then also over here is a Google Doc. It's going to become my works cited. Uh, I'm going to go in. I think the easiest way to get to the databases is through our website, which you should have bookmarked by now. And I'm going to go to the home and to WHS LMC. So I'm going to start just with that database. And then I'm going to scroll down here. I think it's a little bit quicker to get to this page than going through the school website, which is kind of complex. So here's my electronic research databases under the high school's library page. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to at open academic one file, which is right there. Uh, so if you miss that click, it's academic one files right here. And I'm just going to get rid of these other two windows now, and I don't even need my uh, page there. Okay. So in parentheses, school to prison pipeline. That is what I am doing for my research topic. You guys can't use that. You have to use one from the uh, assignment that we gave you. But I'm going to continue using this one for all of my searches. And we had you, for this performance task, get one magazine or newspaper source and two academic journals that are peer-reviewed. So let's go ahead and start with the news or academic uh, magazine sources. So for news sources, um, you see I would click here, and that would give me um, some news sources. Uh, here, so here we have these. I could also click over on magazines and I would have sources. I'm already limited to full text. Now notice I'm getting a lot of book reviews with only 168 words, which really isn't any kind of a length of an article that you want to use. This one's only 139, it's a brief article. And I, I see a lot of that, book review, book review, book review, book review, brief article. So I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I'm going to go to document type and I'm going to select article and I'm going to apply that filter. Now I'm getting just articles with a hundred, with you know, a thousand words. Uh, that looks interesting. And as I scroll down here, let's see. Oh, here we go. Here's one from Education Week, and it's a law to prompt changes in discipline policies on expulsion and suspension. Well, that's definitely what I'm talking about with the School of Prison Pipeline: how suspension. So I've got to understand a little bit about my topic to know that this relates. Um, so I'm going to click on here. And so here's the article. It's from Education Week. That's Finn in the background. It's five years old. Okay, that, that looks good to me. Um, so this looks like a good article. It's a little short, uh, but it's talking about what Illinois uh, Illinois is doing to deal with their zero to tolerance policies, which might be causing um, the school to prison pipeline. So here we go. I've got my citation down here. I think I'm going to probably use this one for this activity. So let's go over to the Google Doc here. A um, couple of things I'm going to do first. I'm going to change everything to Times New Roman because that's how we have to do it. And it's always 12. And we always double space everything that we do in academics. So I've done those things. Um, now I want to go ahead and center and type W. And a W, in a, in a, in a, sorry, W for capital here, and a capital for work cited. Then just hit enter, bring it back, and then what I want to do is go to format, alignment, indent options, change to hanging, and hit apply. So now that's all set up for my work cited page. Again, that is format, that is alignment indent options and hanging and hit apply. Now I can go over here to this window. I can select and I can right mouse button click copy. I can also control C. I'm going to put my cursor back here. Make sure it's back at the beginning. I'm going to edit and I'm going to paste without formatting. Boom, right in there. Okay, all nice and formatted for me. Technically, I don't need all the junk past the number, just to let you guys know. So you can delete all of that, makes it look much nicer. Okay, good, got my magazine. Now I am off to go back to my results. Don't use this, go back to your results. Okay, I wanna go to academic journals and I wanna limit to peer reviewed. Finn's, Finn's having a bagel, he's excited. So tolerance in schools for Latino students dismantling the school to prison pipeline. Man, that looks perfect. Harvard Journal of Hispanic Policy. We'd already kind of found that. 
Um, here, I, I won't cheat though. High School Journal, Rebuilding Inequity, the Reemergence of the School to Prison Pipeline in New Orleans. That looks super interesting. Let me take a look at that. That is from the High School Journal. I'd already limited it. Yeah, if you didn't see it, I already limited it to peer reviewed. And I know it's a scholarly journal because it's underneath this. It's also got High School Journal in the name. This is looking good. Okay. A lot of school to prison pipelines that are this looks like it might be something I'm going to want to use. So here I'm going to select this. I'm going to copy it. Control C, or you can just right mouse button, click and hit copy. The author's last name is T, so I feel good about being underneath the B. I'm going to again go edit, paste without formatting. And then again, like I said to you guys, keep the period, but you can delete everything after that big fancy number. It just makes it look so much better. Okay, awesome. Two down, one to go. I'm going to go back again. Um, oh, and one thing, oops, oops, I'm an idiot. So one thing I should be doing is also saving the documents, right? So here I am. I, I got to save this one. Okay, I got to log in there. Great, that's going to be sent to my Google Drive. Now because I am uh, made the mistake, let's see. Let's see, can I do this? I'm going to kill peer review, keep the articles, go to magazines. I got bald Evie. Go back to the Illinois. Save that article too. That'll appear in my drive. Okay, now I'm ready to go back. Academic journals. Go ahead and kick peer reviewed. So I've already used the uh, high school journal article here. Let's see, charting school discipline, the early lawyer, maybe. Let's see here. Introductions, widely used term. That's a possibility. Ooh, this looks interesting. Every hand's a loser. Um, this is again talking about zero tolerance. That seems to be something that's a real problem with the school to prison pipeline. That relates back to my Illinois topic that I've already kind of been playing with. Um, yeah, this looks like something I could probably use. And so now I'm going to select this, copy it. Let's see, it's an M, right? Okay, so it's going to go between the B and the T. I'm going to hit enter there. Um, so if you just didn't see what I did, I put my cursor, just hit enter, put my cursor back up, and again, edit, paste without formatting. Uh, I am going to save my article onto my Google Drive. And I am done with the work cited. So let's see how fast I can show you this in Google Drive. You can see, let's see, I got to change accounts. That went to my personal one. That's cool. Okay, Gale one file is a folder that came up. Uh, we got Every Hand's a Loser. We've got the new Illinois one. And we got the... What's our last one? Rebuilding inequity. There we go. Okay, uh, these were these were older ones that I had uh, kind of grabbed for you guys on a different topic. Okay, um, so here we go with our three, and then I would just—it's okay if they're not PDFs, if they're Word files, uh, that's totally fine too, guys. And then I would attach these three files to the assignment, and I would send in the work cited, and I think we got this done in probably. 10 minutes, under 10 minutes. Uh, so where would I spend my extra time if I were actually doing this assignment as a student? I would spend the extra time that I needed uh, just making sure these were really good articles. Again, the advice is to read the beginning and the introduction and the conclusion, kind of skim through those to make sure they're tied to your topic. That's the only skip that, step that I feel that I skipped. Um, do you understand seeing this now, why we want you to do this under 50 minutes because a scholar who's used to it can do it under 10. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope this helped.